Good evening, sports fans, and welcome to a night soccer match. It's the Stoughton Black Knights visiting the Foxborough Warriors. It's Varsity High School Soccer coming to you from Ahern Middle School in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Tonight is senior night, and to recognize our seniors and their parents, we have PA address announcer Dave Fay. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's Hockamock League game at the Ahern Field between the Stoughton Black Knights, coached by Aaron Salter, and assisted by Bill Piaske, with a record of eight wins, six losses, and zero ties. And the Foxborough Warriors, coached by Joe Francino, and assisted by Rich Ferrier, with a record of two wins, eight losses, and three ties. Tonight, the Foxborough High School boys soccer team will be playing its final regular se season night game. For the five seniors, it will be their last night game of their high school careers on this field. We would like to take the opportunity to recognize these boys, to express our appreciation, and to let them know how much we have enjoyed watching them play soccer over the years. This is a special group of young men. They excel both on and off the soccer field. All five players will be sorely missed next year. We wish these five seniors the best of luck in the future and know that they will be successful in all that they do. We will also miss the parents with whom we have spent much time with over the years. As each senior boy's name is called, we ask that he join his parent, parents on the field. Number nine, Captain. Anthony Barrera is joined by his father, Tony, and his mother, Kelly. Senior captain number eight, A.J. Babensik. A.J. will be joined on the field by his dad, Bob, and his mother, Lori. Number 20, Jeff Mello. Jeff is joined by his father, Larry, and his mother, Susan. Number 16, Colin Spinney. Colin will be joined by his mother, Janet. Last, certainly not least, number one, the goalkeeper, Aaron Wetling. Aaron will be joined by his mother, Nancy.
Congratulations to all the Fox Pro seniors. We'd also like to recognize the Stoughton seniors. Woo! You can just step forward and just uh, get some applause here from uh, the fans here tonight. Number three, Gotti Foamby. Number five, Mateus Santos. Woo! Number six, Connor Cavanaugh. Number eight, Louise Nascimento. Woo! Number 10, Noah Schulte. Woo! Number 15, Jeremy Fishman. Woo! Number 17, Lubensky Lucas. Woo! Number 23, Jordan Adnes. Number 25, Matt Gallagher. Number 30, Marco Antu. Number 43, Kyrie John. Number 44, Morpe Riccardi. And number 46, George Lembaugh. Congratulations to the Stoughton Black Knight Seniors. Now for tonight's starting lineups. For the Black Knights, number one senior, Jordan Asnes. Excuse me, number 23. Senior captain, number 10, Noah Schulte. Senior, number 30, Marco Antun. A junior, number 27, Tyler Mello. A senior, number three, Gotti Fomby. Number 15, also a senior, Jeremy Fishman. A junior wearing number 12, Nick Camo. Junior, number 11, Brian Peoples. Senior captain, number 17, Lubensky Lucas. A sophomore, wearing number nine, Fabio Ponce de Leon. And the starting goalkeeper, wearing number 25, senior Matthew Gallagher. Now for the Foxborough Warriors. Number three, a junior, Matthew Rangioni. A sophomore, number five, Matt Garcia. A junior, number seven, Sean McNamara. Whoa! 
Senior co-captain number eight, A.J. Papensik. Wearing number nine is senior co-captain, senior Anthony Barrera. Wearing number 15, a sophomore, Nick Beagle. Number 16, senior, Colin Spinney. Number 20, senior Jeff Mello. Number 17, junior Hussein Kafel. Number 23, a junior Ryan Kelly. The starting goalkeeper. For the Warriors, senior Aaron Wetling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem, which will be sung by Foxborough senior Jessica Hoyt. Jessica Hoyt. Well, a great job by PA address announcer Dave Fay and our anthem singer Jessica Hoyt here as we get ready for action at the Ahern School Field. Senior night, it's a great tradition. It was a nice ceremony. And one observation, it was only five seniors for Foxborough against, I think, 13 seniors for the Black Knights. So that gives you some indication of where the programs are Foxborough in a rebuilding year. Stoughton vying for the tournament. We'll talk about that more as we progress through the game. Stoughton enters the contest in third place in the Davenport division. They're eight and six overall with a six and six record in conference. Foxborough is in the cellar. They're at uh, sixth place, one, eight and three in the conference, two, eight and three overall. But the one thing I'll say uh, right up front is Foxborough with a goal here or there difference would be in a very different position. They've had six one-goal defeats and only allowed 18 goals against all season. Where their struggles have been this year have been up front. They've got 15 goals for, puts a lot of pressure on senior Anthony Barrera. The Warriors have got to continue to figure out how to press forward and put the ball in the back of the net, and that'll help them as they grow. But it's a young team, and it was a nice ceremony for the seniors, Barrera, Bubensic, 
Spinney, Mello, and Wentling as they begin to play their final night game here at the Ahern Field in their Foxborough High School career. Foxborough's in the white tonight. They're on the field. They're going right to left in the first half. And appropriately enough, the Stoughton Scarlet Knights will be in their black going left to right. Earlier this afternoon, the Foxborough JV took on the Stoughton JV and beat them 3-0. So we'll hope that the same continues as we get underway here in the varsity contest. Forty minutes each half. Boys are ready to get underway. Mello and Barrera with the kickoff, playing it back to AJ Bubensic. We got Colin Spinney on senior night returning to the lineup. First. Uh, Time in quite a while, Colin's been able to play, dressed, and in the starting lineup here on senior night. Jeff Mello and Hussein Kafel playing up top. That's Bubensic looking for Kafel right there. Nick Beagle's in the center of the park. Ball out to Spinney, left side, gets an early chance. Curls it in nicely, but not with a lot of pace. And the keeper for Stoughton was in position. Nice to get an early shot, though. That's Matt Garcia, the right back, playing in the flat four here, sophomore Matt Garcia. Sean McNamara and Ryan Kelly in the middle of the back, and Matt Rangioni starts at the left back position. This is Kelly. McNamara. No foul there. They give the throw to Foxborough. Garcia into the back of the Stoughton player. Gives uh, Stoughton an early free kick opportunity. Always dangerous. Free kicks, corner kicks at the varsity level. Want to minimize those, especially in your own third. Foxborough sets up a wall. Stoughton player bends it around, but no danger whatsoever. Wide and right. And Aaron Wentling in net. Another one of the seniors. Retrieves it and gives it to Ryan Kelly, who will put the ball back in play. Kelly with a good boot. Barrera misses the flick. Stoughton back down, but out of bounds. Rangioni will take the throw. Jeff Mello gets a touch. Great night for soccer here. Mid-October, close to 80 degrees earlier this afternoon. Barely cooled down so far. Beautiful night for soccer. Ryan Kelly finds Mello, finds a Cafell, making the run just a bit behind him. Garcia with the aggressive step to the ball. Stoughton throw. No trouble there as Wendling comes off his line to pick it up. Foxborough head back upfield. So coach Joe Franchino has all five of his seniors in the lineup. I think that's appropriate. Nice touch by the coach. Stoughton with another kick. This one a little further out. Barrera goes back in the back to help out on that kick. Wins a couple of headers. 
Stoughton eventually gets possession again, but puts a no problem ball back in on Wentling. Both teams just feeling each other out right now. There's Beagle with a touch to Barrera. Mello tries to put the ball down to Spinney in the corner, gets it a little bit too much in the middle of the field. Not a bad idea by Jeff. Ryan Kelly fights off a player, wins that ball out of the air. AJ Bubensic getting into it a little bit. AJ's always fired up for these games. Maybe a little extra fire with senior night. No harm. Third Stoughton direct kick here in the last several minutes. This one again, not in a real dangerous spot, but Foxborough will have to win this ball. Floated in nicely, a little too far. Wentling comes out, gets the ball up in the air where Stoughton can't get ahead on it. Good start for Aaron. Beagle with the ball, curls back for Bubensic. Tries a touch, no, it wasn't Bubensic, excuse me, it was Barrera to Bubensic. Bubensic gets the ball there and therefore not the call, but this time a little too aggressive and he will get the call. And now the referee wants to settle him down. Couple of quick hard fouls by AJ. Ref's gonna tell him if you wanna stick around, we're gonna settle it down just a bit. AJ plays with that good edge though. That's his game. But the result's a fourth kick here in the Foxborough half of field. Another nice job by Wentling, getting the ball up high. Looks for Beagle for a quick break. Beagle, Mello, and Sean Max making a run from the back. Puts the ball just a little bit too far out in front. McNamara likes to pick his times for his runs. He'll eventually work his way to the back of the field. In the meantime, Ryan Kelly and Matt Rangioni will have to take care of business. Centering pass by Stoughton, and there's Kelly right on cue. Nick Beagle fighting for the ball. Spinney with a hard foul. Stoughton's not happy. Got a man down for Stoughton. So we've got a timeout on the field. While we have this minute, I spoke with both uh, coaches before the game. Coach Joe Francino for the Foxborough Varsity and Coach Aaron Salter in his second year for the uh, Stoughton squad. And uh, a little bit of a tale of two seasons right here from the coaches. Francino expressing uh, just a little bit of frustration with a smile. Not a lot to talk about at this point. Uh, Foxborough looks like they are out of tournament play unless they win their game against Weston this coming Monday, October 24th. That would get them into the tournament by way of the Sullivan rule. But otherwise, Foxborough's chances for the tournament look a little dim at this point. In contrast to Stoughton, as I mentioned, third place overall. Six and six record. One more win was the first thing Coach Salter mentioned to me. One more win gets them in the tournament. So obviously they hope to secure that tonight. Foxborough hasn't given up though. They fight hard. We've seen that already from Bubensic and Spinney in this game. They won't give in to anybody. However, Spinney and Bubensic will have to be careful now. The next hard foul and they're sure to see a card. Foxborough lines up, holding the defensive line at the top of the box, giving keeper Wentling some room to deal. So far, he's handled these chances well. Don't want to give him too many, though. 
six and a half minutes in here at the Foxborough Field. Here we go, back into play. Interesting play there by number 10 is Stoughton. Instead of putting the ball out near the box and seeing if Wentling could get out to it, he actually put it just under the bar. If Aaron had come out prematurely, that would have been a tough one, but as it was, Aaron held his line and took care of business. Let's see if Foxborough can start to turn the tables the other way. Sean Mack on the tough defense earns Foxborough throw. Mack Garcia, sophomore, starting lineup, right back, puts it in play. Maddie's got a heart of gold, fights hard. And now Ron Gioni's in a foot race. Matt's sneaky quick. I don't think they're going to beat him out there. They touch it out of bounds. Foxborough ball. Beagle with a flick to Spinney. A little too physical on Collins, so Foxborough will take that kick. Nice ball by Bubensic, finds co-captain Barrera. Left foot, a far post, Jeff Mello's there. Didn't get a lot on the head, but it was a nice looking play, good idea. Great ball by Barrera. Goal kick comes out to Hussein Kafel, turns it back around with the help of A.J. Bubensic. Mello is a step offside. Nice of Foxborough to regain that possession right away off that goal kick. Ryan Kelly contesting that ball. McNamara leaves it for Wentling. Mello gets a touch. Caffell's trying to get there. Shielded well by the Stoughton defender. Took the ball away from Spinney and Caffell. Spinney with two hard fouls. And the expected yellow card. Shane Vandenboom on for Colin Spinney. Referee calls an elbow on Barrera. Fifth or sixth kick in the Foxborough end. Only ten and a half minutes into the game. That one the most dangerous yet. Stoughton ran onto it, got a head ball, redirected it just a bit wide. Looking at the standings, Sharon leads the top of the Davenport, Canton's in second, Stoughton third, as I mentioned, Milford fourth, North Attleboro fifth, Foxborough sixth. And as I comb through the standings prior to this game, one thing that stands out for Stoughton, they have 30 goals scored 
compared to the first and second place teams ahead of them in the standings. Sharon and Canton, who only have 18 and 17 goals scored. So Stoughton has a, a very prolific offense, but they are apt to give up the goals. Against their 30 goals four, they've got 28, 28 goals against. So high powered offense, but also some holes in the back. They can be scored upon. Fandom boom, shoulder, gets grabbed. Put the ball down for the foul and Foxborough take the kick. AJ Bubensic on the kick, looking for Vanden Boom. Referee did a nice job shielding him out of the play. <laughs> Foxborough's right there, as I mentioned. 15 goals for, 18 goals against, six one goal defeats. Tough season, frustrating season for the Warriors this year, but they really have not been that far away. In their last three, a 2-0 win against Milton, a 0-0 tie against Attleboro, and a 2-1 loss on Monday at Sharon. They've been playing better soccer lately. Those last three games give you some indication, a win, a tie, a loss. Here's Jeff Mello with an opportunity onside, receives it. And an unlucky touch there, a little strong and high. Great feed to get him sprung open. That was a great chance for Foxborough. Mello, the former defender, converted forward. Like to have that one back, I bet. So Foxborough's been playing a little better soccer here lately. I know they'd like to continue that night, that tonight. Would love to play spoiler and not let Stoughton get into the tournament on a victory here. Bubensic and Rangioni working that left side. Vandenboom looking for Mello. The flick's just a touch strong. Just barely rolls into the box before Mello and Kafel can get there. Nice to see Hussein out there running without a brace today. Suffered an injury, held him out for the early part of this season. Sean McNamara in a foot race that he wins. That happens most often. Very solid in the back, Sean Mack. Stoughton here with a little carry. Garcia with the slide tackle stop. Gets up, feeds the ball upfield to Caffell. Finds Mello. Looking back for Caffell. Stoughton's got six defenders back there against the Foxborough four on that attack. So they've got enough guys back. Fell head ball to Mello. Mello turns, shielded, no foul. So this game began 15 minutes ago with a little excitement, senior night, a little chippiness, and now it's starting to settle down into a soccer game. Ubensic, nice play to Rangioni, looking for Mello. McNamara, Vandenboom saves it, finds Rangioni. They close on Barrera quickly, but Bubensic's there. Ball floated over the top here. Good decision by Wentling, stay on his line. Garcia wins the head. Almost by Caffell, Stoughton throw. Hey, 
AJ Bubensik tracking back hard. Ball put back in, but nothing Wentling can't handle. Give Foxborough a minute to regroup here, get back upfield. Vandenboom takes it down, but can't quite keep it in control. Loses the ball to Stoughton. Rangioni swing off of a Stoughton leg, and now we've got a break for Stoughton. Cut back, top of the box, opportunity here. Player ran onto the ball from the left wing for Stoughton, put it over the bar. Good opportunity for Stoughton there. Mello's working in the center of the park. Several flicks, looking for a teammate. Vandenboom, nice speed, good touch. In on a break, still has the ball. Keeper save, out of position. Caffell scores the Foxborough goal. Great individual work by Shane Vandenboom. And Hussein Caffell with the timely spot for the one nothing Foxborough lead. It was a great play by uh, Vandenboom. He's sneaky quick. He got a touch through two Stoughton defenders. Fought through the last defender. Got a shot off. Ball came right to Caffell. Open net. Hussein wouldn't miss. So Foxborough with the early lead at the 18 minute mark. And another kick for Stoughton. <laughs> Over the top, we've seen that before. Foxborough ball. Matt Rangioni finds Anthony Barrera. He's been quiet so far this game. Every team marks him closely. Warriors would love to get Anthony into the game a little bit more. Kick for Stoughton. Rangioni reads it. Can't possess to Vandenboom. Another chance. <laughs> Matt Garcia, nicely off the Stoughton player in a dangerous area. Earns Foxborough the goal kick. Three players to watch for on 
The Stoughton side, Lubensky Lucas, number 17. Gotti Fombe, number three. And Marco Antunes, number 30. I think we got some crowd favorites here. Another great chance. Bubensic laid it in there to Vandenboom. Vandenboom, nice spacing, nice idea. Just carried the top of the bar. Pereira now, looking for Vanden Boom. That's Gotti for Stoughton, playing it smartly off of Shane. Rangioni winning ahead. Garcia in pursuit. Cafel in pursuit. Sean Mack wins it. Dangerous cross here for Stoughton. Just over the head of a player. Barrera makes the Stoughton player go over the top. Feeds it through the legs of a Stoughton player. Right, wide open Ryan Kelly. Here's a chance again. Both Vanden Boom and Mello making the run and they rule Mello is just a foot offside. Very close. <laughs> 16 and a half here to play in the first half. Foxborough, one goal lead. Gotti put that ball in play, but Stoughton put a little too much on it on the front end. Stoughton's a streaky team, too. Started the season 0-2. Then they rolled off four in a row, four wins in a row. Then they lost three in a row. So 0-2, four wins, then three losses. But now they're on the roll positively again. They've won the last three, including a 1-0 score against Milford. Now, Milford, you'll remember, Foxborough played there in a tight game, losing in the closing minutes, but it just shows how close these teams are. Back into the game for the Black Knights. Number six, Connor Cavanaugh. And number 34, Rami Harabi. Little ticky-tacky foul on Barrera there, trying to earn position. He and Cafell trying to win that ball. I've lost count of the number of kicks here for Stoughton. Ryan Kelly saves that one out of the back line. And then we got a foul ball coming back out for Foxborough. Here's a flick by Cafell up to Mello. Mello trying to get free to get across. Good battle over there. Finds Barrera. Barrera had an idea there, but not much on that one. There's Anthony Barrera again, looking up the field for Hussein Cafell. 
McNamara reads that chance, knocks it out. Stoughton sub. Ball won by Foxborough. Played back for Beagle. Haven't heard his name a lot yet. Almost floats it over the back line to Caffell. And in boom. Mello to Bubensic. Stoughton takes over. Jeff Mello working hard up front. They're going to get Mello for a push in the back. Stoughton kick coming out. And a card for Jeff Mello. Probably said something. Two cards in the book for Foxborough. Need to keep their composure. They've got a one goal lead, playing well. Onto the field comes Will Regan. He'll take the right forward spot now. Caffell moving over towards the center. Barrera working hard Into in the, the middle. For the Warriors, number Has two, some space Will now. Regan. Got clipped on the way through. Give Fox Pro an opportunity. Mello's ready to come back on when there's a stoppage. The right kind of stoppage. This would not count. Bubensic tries to drive a ball, but it's blocked by the near defender. McNamara back over the top. Vandenboom there. Stoughton defender played it aggressively against his keeper. Ball bounced back forward. Not sure what his play was there. Stoughton kick coming back out. So here's Mello back onto the field. Caffell goes back off for a rest. Game for the Warriors, number 20, Jeff Mello. <clears throat> Vanden Boom looking for Regan. Regan offsides. Ball goes off Garcia's head. Be a Stoughton throw down on the Foxborough end. Will Regan in pursuit. Sophomore on this young Foxborough squad. Sophomore to sophomore, Garcia, Regan. Dangerous looking play there for Stoughton, but McNamara gets there quickly and knocks it out for a regroup. Can always count on Sean Mack to bring the high motor. Under 10 to play here in the first half. Garcia with the throw in, looking for Mello. Throw goes back the other way. And back and forth we go on the far side of the field.
Nice win by Garcia, Bubensic, Barrera. Can't find Vandenboom. First part of this season, we saw Barrera playing up top. He's playing midfield now, able to set up plays. They can't sit two defenders on him. Meanwhile, stoppage for Matty Garcia dinged up a little bit on that play, going off on the far side. Regan goes back to his spot in the back line. Cafell comes back on. Ryan Kelly to put the ball back in play. Number 17, Hussein Cafell back in for the Warriors. Bubensa collects it and gets dumped. Be a nice opportunity here. Looks like Nick Beagle is going to line it up. Nick's got a nice shot from this distance, but most keepers will be able to handle it from this far out. See if Nick shoots or tries to put a ball in play for one of his teammates. He tried to bend it, but never really a danger for the Stoughton keeper. Nick's not happy with that one. Stoughton goal kick off their line, bouncing around midfield. Long opportunity that the Stoughton player didn't get much on. Not hard for McNamara to collect that, get it out of bounds. Ron Gioni with a clear. One by Gotti. Beagle off Barrera to Garcia, who's back in the game. Regan's back up front. Cafell's back off. Shane Vandenboom with a ball over here to Will Regan. Gets blocked. Regan will leave the ball for Jeff Mello, who's got the longest throw on the team. Down front here, Jeff will try to put it right in a dangerous spot. Does that nicely. Cleared away by a Stoughton defender. And Foxborough will get a corner kick out of this one. Nick Beagle coming over to take it. Another sophomore. Beagle puts it deep. Garcia, who's got at least one head goal on the season already. Goes up for that one, but well outside of the Stoughton net. Four and a half to play here in the first half. Beagle wins that in the air. Stoughton gathers possession. Nicely placed ball. Beats Garcia. McNamara to the rescue. Stoughton throw. Uh, 
Dangerous ball cleared out. Barrera gets a foot to it. McNamara all over his man. And a little too much at the end. Barrera smartly in front of the ball to slow it down. He'll back off and become part of a three-man wall for Foxborough. Ball's in. Sailed just wide. Well struck. Couldn't bend it around the wall. Kelly puts it back in play. One by Gotti. Pubensic working hard. Ball's out of bounds. Handball Stoughton. Bubensic serves it up into the chest of a Stoughton player who can't control it. Inside of two minutes, Foxborough would like to get another good, another good look. Another 10 yards forward, and Ron Gioni will do it again. Spectators, just as a reminder, the official time is kept on the field by the game referees. Ball bounced in on the keeper. Foxborough throw. Jeff Mello in a battle down there, comes away with it. Looks Vanden Boom, has space to get it off. Bubensic will try to tee that up, didn't quite get all of it. Good stick by Ranji. Rangioni Bubensic not communicating on that one. Stoughton comes away with it. Sean Mack clears it out. Regan called for a little foul. Foxborough does not want to give up one here. Take that one nothing lead to the half. Probably a little extra time in this half due to the stoppages for the yellow cards, but I see the near side referee looking at his watch. Dangerous here. here. Thankfully, Garcia's first on it. And there's the half. So high school varsity soccer here on senior night at Foxborough. The good guys, the one nothing lead as we go to the break. Foxborough looking at a good half there. Gave up a few too many directs in their end, but come away with the advantage on a nice finish by Hussein Kafel. We'll be back soon for the second half of Schoolboy Soccer. New keeper Bobby Harrison in net for the Foxborough Warriors. 
Bobby and Aaron Wentling been splitting time. It was Wentling in the first half. Harrison here to go in the second half. He cleared that ball out of play. Foxborough now going left to right. Anthony Barrera, captain on the ball. Upfield towards Hussein Cafell. He's joined up front in the beginning of this half by Jeff Mello, Shane Vandenboom. Anthony Barrera and A.J. Bubensic, co-captains, along with Nick Beagle working the midfield. Ron Gioni, Kelly, McNamara, and Garcia, the same four in the back. Mello on a bit of a run, one against three, looking for help. Vandenboom, not quite. Jeff Mello working hard here on senior night. Foxborough trying to keep Stoughton out of the playoffs, at least for one night, as they defend their home field. Nice for Harrison to get a couple easy touches on the ball here to start his half. Mello holding the ball up top, gets around the corner. Tough angle. Gives us a chance here at the start of the second half to name some of the other players on the roster. We have Freshman Joe Cusack and freshman Dylan Barrera also on the squad. We've got Mike Moses, Brady Gardner, juniors. We have Dan Basler, also a sophomore. Junior Cam Cass out injured with a sprained ankle. Cam's normally out there for the Foxborough Warriors. Freshman, excuse me, a sophomore Dan Lowy, a defender also on the roster. And sophomore Sean Milhall on a forward. Rounding out the squad. Here's Mello with a takeaway and almost a, a putback. That's Jeff Mello's second quality scoring opportunity. Just high. A.J. Bubensic winning the head ball. Anthony Barrera with a little bit of a run here. A little ambitious from there. Here's Mello trying to turn the ball, looking for Caffell. Fox Bros come out strong. Like to see that. Anthony Barrera, classic step over move. Turns a corner, puts the ball through. Referee rules Mello offside. Very, very close. Dangerous ball there until Garcia took care of it. Offsides against Stoughton. So the first time these two teams played, uh, Stoughton came away with a 3-1 win. It was 1-1 at halftime at Stoughton High School before Stoughton took advantage of a couple of uh, late scoring opportunities. So the teams played closely with Stoughton getting the better of it. 
Here we see the same thing. The tight Davenport uh, division and quality of play. We've got another close game, this time Foxborough holding the advantage on its home court. Nice touch here. Looked like a good play developing, but good recovery by Ryan Kelly. That was Lubensky Lucas, number 17 for Stoughton. One of the players to watch, according to Coach Salter. AJ Bubensic coming up a little bit gimpy here. Showing some toughness. Ball up to Vanden Boom on the left side. Can't control it. Tough head by Kelly, but McNamara's there. Barrera creates some space for himself. Plays it off to Stoughton player's hand. Caffell coming back for the ball. Stoughton gets possession. Bensick, nice hustle play, deflecting off the Stoughton player. Garcia with the near side throw. Mellow flick. Caffell couldn't quite get there. Nice play by Gotti to shield Caffell off so his keeper could pick it up. So far, a couple of early plays here for number 17. That's Lucas. I don't know if that was part of the discussion at halftime by Coach Salter, but they've got Lucas up there making some runs down the left side. And he looks like he's got pace. Corner, Stoughton. Curved in and knocked out by Bensick. Seems to be better after that gimpy walk he took a minute ago. Here's the other corner. Far post this time. Nice one-timer. Just missed. Ryan Kelly coming back out. A number of these boys have played for years together. The junior class, Caffell, Cass, McNamara, and company. Been together a long time. Ron Gioni, Kelly. And now we see the sophomore class coming up through the ranks here on the varsity squad. A tough foul there by McNamara. Probably didn't need it. Maybe sold a little bit by the Stoughton player. Sophomore class, a lot of teammates who've played together a number of years. I've had a chance to be with a lot of them in club play. Garcia, Vandenboom, Beagle, Basler and company. Dan Lowy. Great hustle, Bobby Harrison. Ball played in, Foxborough got a head on it. Ball was 50-50, anyone's chance. Harrison came running well off his line aggressively to capture that one. Harrison's got increasing playing time as of late with his hustle play. There's a long throw, Barrera's got a chance. Dropped right in front of him, nice play over Caffell, head ball. Call goes against Caffell. Not much on that header, but a nice look from Anthony Barrera. He did that in the first half, hitting a left footer to far post and gave another cross opportunity there as well. Ron Gioni up to Vanden Boom, trying to win a one-on-one -on -one battle. Finds Barrera top of the box. They close down on him quickly. Rangioni with a little touch in. 
can't connect. Caffell, nice heel. Up to Mello, advantage. Caffell. Mello can't get there in time. Foxborough's working hard. A little bit of a disconnect now between the, the backs for Foxborough and the forwards. That middle of the field is open. Stoughton hasn't really capitalized yet, but you can see it from the press box now. Team's getting a little extended. Nice play by Barrera. Tough touch by the Stoughton player. Slows it down a little bit, not intentionally. McNamara, just a little bit too far out in front. Was forced to just knock it out. Win by Beagle. Knocked out by Stoughton. Rangioni throw. Vanden Boom. Likes that chest trap and pass all at once. See him do that at least once or twice a game. Good work by Nick Beagle down in the corner there. Keeping the ball around him, eventually able to find Jeff Mello, who hit it wide. Jeff's getting chances up there. Haven't had a chance to talk to him about how he likes forward versus defender, fullback. Probably a lot of fun as a senior on your way out of Foxborough High School. Bubensic with a backhead. McNamara fights for it. Bubensic gets back in there again. That's a nice volley up into the corner. Just going to roll out of bounds, though, with the crown of the field. Stoughton sub. It's one thing we've seen all season. Coach Franchino does not sub much. Gets a lot of substitutions. A lot of substitutions by the opponents. Number 14, John Ortiz. He's in for the Black Knights. Not many by the Warriors. Here's Caffell fighting for the ball in the right corner. Played out, but Bubensic's there. Avoids the tackle. Ball to Barrera. But they find the free midfielder now for Stoughton, and Stoughton's trying to counter. McNamara down. Strong reaction from fans on both sides as McNamara goes down and draws the call. Out off Bubensic. Mello over to Beagle. Beagle gives it up. Gotti coming forward from his back line. Looks for Lucas. Dangerous place here. Ball bounces over to Garcia. Call against Foxborough here. It's 
going to be a kick. Nice play by Harrison. Got the ball up at the high spot. Good hands, held on to it. No rebound for Stoughton. No drop for Stoughton. Foxborough kick here. A lot of stoppages all of a sudden. The referees have found their whistle. Jeff Mello with the big left foot bang. Not quite where he wanted it. Couldn't quite combine with Barrera making the run. Foxborough's got a line of five forwards and four backs and A.J. Barrera, the lone one in the middle at times. Pushing hard though, trying to get that second goal, get a little differential here. Referee changed his mind. Ball looked like it went out of the Stoughton player. He called it a Foxborough throw, then put up his other arm and called it a Stoughton throw. And now we got a substitution for Stoughton. Almost halfway through this second half, 22 to play. No scoring so far this half, just one goal this game. That off the foot of Junior Hussein Kafel. On a nice play by Shane Vandenboom. Back into the game for the Bestowed Black Knights, number 27, Tyler Mello. That opportunity closed down there by Bubensic and Mello. Fell looking for Bubensic. Nice ball there by Stoughton. Ryan Kelly right with his man, though. McNamara. Could have got away uh, with there with a little bit of a trip in the box. Glad the referee chose not to blow the whistle in a one nothing game there. Now Stoughton's trying the far side. Ron Gioni's over there. To the game for the Warriors, number two, Will Regan. Substitution here, McNamara going off. Jeff Mello drops back into the central back. Will Regan on. Will Regan on at the right back. Rangione up into the midfield. Not sure why Mac went off. Didn't see anything, went off fine. Keep an eye on that. Mello's going to get a kick here for Foxborough. Looking for Barrera, nothing there.
Offside, Stoughton. Beagle with the ball. Creating space, turns and shoots. Nick's got that shot. Rushed just a little bit. Not a bad idea. Ryan Kelly missed his opportunity there. Thankfully got the ball back. Garcia got stepped on. He's going down. He's back up. He's working it out. Meanwhile, Barrera's upfield in the corner. Tried to bend it in far post. Not quite. Garcia's hobbling behind the play. Beagle's going to take this corner. Foxborough would love a second goal. Barrera ran past the ball, opened it up for Cafell, but he wasn't quite tall enough to get his head on it, but Bubensik's playing it. Couldn't find Cafell. Now Stoughton on the counter. Ryan Kelly says nothing doing. Stoughton sub. Nobody able to break through here thus far in the second half. Back into the game for the Black Knights, number five, Mateus Santos. Ron Gioni working on the far side midfield. Stoughton takes over. And they knock it out as Ron Gioni fought that one off. One thing having Mello back there will do is give him a little breather after his time up front most of the game. Let him catch his breath. Got a foul on Jeff as we call his name. Stoughton kick. Six guys back for Foxborough, three more joining. Protecting that one goal lead. Only Barrera up front now. Stoughton throw. Running along the 18. Nice play by Ron Gioni to take away that shot and Bubensic to clear. Vandenboom in a foot race, wins the ball, sees Cafell making a run, touches it to the middle, looking for help, drop to Bubensic. Well, nice low hard shot, but tough to score from that far. Garcia knocks it off his forehead, and yet Foxborough gets the call. And I overruled by the far ref. Unfortunately, I have to say I agree with him. Bubensic sticks a tackle. Ugh. Barrera just offside as that ball was played up to him. Came back to an onside position, but that's too late. Ball lofted in, one by Mello, one again by Mello. Harrison grabs it.
drives it out in the direction of Vanden Boom. Regan to Cafell. Garcia trying to get it over to Cafell. Stoughton plays it down deep. Saves it, cuts it back in. Mello with a lovely chest settle. Plenty of time. Executed well. Matt Garcia with a nice tackle on the play. Probably could have gone either way, but from this vantage point, Matt, he definitely had a good bear hug on the, on the opponent. All of Stoughton setting up far post on this play. Ferreira's 10 yards off the ball, dancing around. Ball served up into the middle of the pile. Regan with a nice block. Ball's back into the middle. Kelly head ball. Garcia with just enough of a touch to get it out of way. Eagle knocks the ball upfield, lets Foxborough pull the back line forward. Uh, fans called that one right. It was played in off of Matt Garcia's arm. Almost a repeat of the exact same spot the last kick was from just a minute ago. Stoughton had a lot of these in the first half. I talked about it. Starting to get a couple of them here late in the second half. Foxborough have to keep defending well. Interesting play there. Number 10 of Stoughton driving the ball hard on net. Almost caught Bobby Harrison moving the wrong way. Showed his nice hands again though. Laying on the ground and grabbed it. Back and forth it goes, keeper to keeper. Stoughton subs. Stoughton player not happy that the referee is stopping the game but they've got players waiting to sub at midfield, so that's the referee's cue. Ten and a half to play. Foxborough holding the one goal lead. Number 31, Marcio Dos Santos, and number 11, Brian Peoples. Pereira finds Beagle. Beagle can't turn. Stoughton comes back the other way. Chip shot right in the middle. Open player at the moment. Kelly recovers. Refs weren't sure. They waited to see which way the players ran. Stoughton ran back upfield. Referee called the goal kick. Jeff Mello to drive the ball deep to Anthony Barrera. One touch settle. Now around the corner, trying to work the speed. Gets the ball towards 
Beagle in the middle, he can't do much. But it came to Vandenboom, who half volleys it out of the air over the, over the net. Probably the fifth or sixth ball Fox Rose hit just high. Bubensik heads the ball out of bounds. Another Stoughton sub. Starting to get to the point where we can talk about eating some clock. Stoughton eating their own clock as they're down a goal. Ball's in. Nice non-call by the ref as the player backed into Will Regan. Lucas back into the Black Knights. Rangioni working hard with the ball. Would think that's a foul on the back. One would think. Stoughton with a great ball into the corner. Garcia's back. Stoughton turns the corner, coming wide open now on the keeper. Jeff Mello, nice play. Matt Garcia got roasted on that one, but he had help. Looked dangerous as the Stoughton player is running in straight towards Bobby Harrison in the Foxborough net. It's a throw now down in front of Foxborough cage. Cross. Harrison just up high enough to get his fingertips on it, knock it down, and pick it up with his hands. Barrera, Beagle. Rangioni to an offsides Vandenboom. Driven in by Stoughton. A little too deep. Harrison's got it in his box. Fell on the ball now, top of the Stoughton box. Again, back and forth, back and forth. Barrera on the ball. Knocks it out. Arms pointing each way, but only the yellow one matters. Stoughton throw. Vandenboom telegraphed that one just a little bit to Hussein. He's the only one up there, so the defenders knew that's where it was going. Stoughton comes back. Garcia reads that one. Foxborough stacking a lot of players in the back now as we get to about five minutes to play. Caffell intercept here. Fandom Boom, trying to get around his player. <laughs> like the dive, Shane. Why not? Rangioni called for the grab. Mello backward head, players on side with that. Harrison, nice save. Got just enough of that to knock it wide. That was scary. 
Corner kick, playing it in quickly. Foxborough's got to be ready. And they get away with one there again. Harrison could not get it. Ball came down, eligible for play on the far post, knocked wide. That was a very scary uh, situation there, those last two plays for Stoughton. Foxborough may have dodged a bullet there with four to play. Regan plays it off the Stoughton player, throws it in quickly. Caffell can't maintain possession. Beagle gets it taken away. Jeff Mello back to a Stoughton player. Stoughton's getting desperate. Barrera got clipped in an ankle there, I think. Rangioni goes down, back up. Three to play. Ubenza gets a toe on it. Garcia gets another toe on it. They just drive the ball as far as they can. Stoughton maintaining the full possession right now. Harrison fast off his line. See if Bobby will take a minute here. Foxborough trying to advance to 3-8-3 three, and three overall. Pick up their third win. Second division win. Bubensic up to win it. Beagle with a volley. Garcia, Bubensic, Barrera. Plays it a little too far ahead, but wins it again. And now he and Cafell are off. One to beat for Anthony Barrera. Yeah. And he knocks in the second goal as the clock reads two minutes. Huge score for the senior co-captain on senior night, Anthony Barrera. Barrera. Great sigh of relief for the Foxborough players there, dodging a bullet a couple minutes prior as the ball bounced around dangerously in front of Bobby Harrison's net. They stacked it in the back. They were limiting opportunities after that. Not sure who got the through ball that sprang Barrera. He was in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Hussein Cafell was out there with him as we watch Matt Garcia go off with a yellow card. Dan Lowy coming on for his first game action. But Barrera doing what he does best, using his body to protect the ball, waiting, the keeper came out, and Barrera hit the far corner, far left corner, didn't miss. Ball played in here. It's Harrison's up high to take it. Danielle Lowy. And it looks like Stoughton coach Aaron Salter will not get the win he wanted to clinch the tournament berth, at least not tonight in Foxborough. Shouldn't be a lot of stoppage time here. Harrison with the big punt. Regan a little too aggressive. Stoughton will go quickly on this direct kick. Played in off a of Stoughton foot. And that's the ball game. 
Good win for Foxborough. They haven't been able to say that too many times this season, but good for them on senior night. The seniors all started, they contributed, and it was their co-captain, Anthony Barrera, who iced the game late in the second half with the second goal. So Hussein Kafel gets one in the first half. Barrera gets one in the second half. And the team defense holds the shutout and the two nothing win. Thanks to Mike Weber for setup, Mike Everson for production in the truck, our cameramen, our announcers, our concession staff, and all those who volunteer for Foxborough soccer. Thanks for watching this game and have a great night.